Hello everyone, welcome to this new video where we are going to solve these equations. First of all, I would like to ask you please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So let's just find the existence condition of this equation. So we know that for the ln function to be well defined, x plus 1 needs to be greater than 0, x needs to be greater than 0, and x minus 2 needs to be greater than 0. So we'll just find the x satisfying all these three conditions. Okay. So let's just find the x satisfying all these three conditions. This implies that for the first one, we have that x must be greater than minus 1. For the second one, x must be greater than 0 and for the third one x must be greater than 2 so let's just find with uh, which x we can just consider here if we have this line okay if we have 0 here we have minus 1 here and we have 2 here okay so for this first one x must be greater than minus 1 so this means that that x must be here okay now for the second one x must be greater than 0 this means x must be here okay and for this third one x must be greater than 2 this means that x must be here so we are just going to consider the x satisfying all the three conditions and we can directly see that this is the x satisfying all the three conditions. So this one is the one we are going to consider. Okay. So our solution x has to be greater than 2. This is the condition we have. Now let's just solve the equation. Okay, we have ln of x plus 1 minus ln of x which is equal to ln of x minus 2 okay let's just rewrite our equation as ln of x plus 1 which is equal to ln of x minus 2 plus ln of x okay we have this now we know that ln sorry we know that ln of a plus ln of b is equal to ln of a times b so let's just apply this property here and we will have that ln of x plus 1 is equal to ln of x minus 2 times x. Okay, we have this now, which is again ln of x plus 1 equal to ln of x squared minus 2x okay we have this now we know that the ln function is a positive is a increasing function so we can directly write here that x plus 1 is equal to x squared minus 2x so this means that we have x squared minus 2x minus x minus 1 is equal to 0, which is again x squared minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. 
and we can solve this last equation using delta we have delta which is b square which is minus 3 square minus 4a which is 1 and c which is minus 1 so this will just give 13 and the square root of delta will just be the square root of 30 sorry the square root of 30 okay so as this one as delta is positive you have two solutions the first solution is x1 which is minus b b is equal to minus 3 b is equal to minus 3 so minus b is just 3 we have minus b which is 3 minus the square root of delta divided by 2 and the second solution is x2 which is minus b now plus the square root of delta which is 13 divided by 2 you can see that this one is is less than 2 and this is greater than 2 so don't forget that the condition we had was that x must be greater than 2 so we can see from this that we can only consider this solution here and we cannot consider this solution okay so finally we have the solution our equation which is x equal to 3 plus the square root of delta divided by 2 which is equal to if you make the computation you will have 3.030278 okay so this is the solution to our equation ln of x plus 1 minus ln of x equal to ln of x minus 2 so thank you for watching the video leave me a comment and like the video also do not forget to subscribe to the channel thank you